In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the Zoho plugin for Office 365. First thing we need to do is load up Office 365. We need to check the version by clicking on File and then Office Account and then About Outlook. And at the top here, it'll tell you whether it's a 64-bit or a 32-bit version. Once you've done that, close out of Office 365, so it's completely closed, and load up your Zoho CRM, and then select the spanner icon in the top right-hand corner, and then head on down to the Marketplace and select Microsoft. Then I want you to select on this drop-down menu and click on the 64 or 32-bit version, depending on which one was displayed in your Outlook settings. Mine is 32-bit, so I will select download. Once this finishes downloading in the bottom left-hand corner, we will run this program. Everyone will be selected and then next, and then you agree to the terms and conditions, next and finish. Now we load up. Microsoft Outlook 365 again, now that the installation has been successful. And at the top here, we have a Zoho CRM. Now all of these will be blank and you won't be able to see them. They'll probably be uh, grayed out, but you'll need to select menu and then select sign in. And then you type in your username and password and then the CRM is installed. On the right hand side here, you'll be able to sign in again with your details and this will be your view on the left hand side. All right, now that we've um, been able to log into the side pane on the right hand side there, um, I want you to know that there's two sections to this actual um, plugin for Zoho CRM. Please note that this plugin is not foolproof. Um, you may experience difficulty using it. Um, it may not look right on your screen size. And when I demo my version to you, you'll see potentially how the resolution can play around depending on the type of uh, computer that you've got. At the top, we have the ribbon, which is Zoho CRM ribbon at the top here. Uh, depending which version of Outlook you're running, uh, that may stay there permanently or it may hide and then fold away like mine does. Uh, go down to menu uh, and then click on settings and then that's where you can adjust your contacts, um, tasks, calendar, emails and then the conflict resolution. Um, so if you need to change any of those settings then that's where those options are. It's not very advanced but there's some very simple um, options to choose from there. You got this thing called sync contacts, sync tasks, sync calendar. You may need to refresh the calendar sometimes, so you may need to resync it by clicking the button. Um, it'll automatically sync the calendar um, periodically, but um, sometimes you may just have to force it, so that button is there for you to do that. The other one is the um, search and add email functionality. So there's kind of two ways to manage your emails inside of Microsoft Outlook. Um, the, the primary way that I personally would recommend that you use it is to not use the side pane. Um, and when you come across an email like this, um, that we've got an email here, but we don't have any contact details of that email being inside of the CRM, we can kind of go in here, we can find this contact, okay, and then we can save um, this specific email against that contact inside the system by simply finding whether it's a potential, a lead or a contact, um, and it's got to match that email address, obviously, and then it will attach it to it. However, in the instance that you don't actually have this person in your CRM as a contact, unfortunately, you will need to use the side pane. So it obviously depends on your business process. Um, as to whether the contacts are already going to exist in your CRM or they don't. If they're brand new, like leads coming through the system like this, then maybe you're going to have to use the add you know, to leads or add to contacts as a feature. If that is the case, then you'll need to enable the side pane. And then when you click on an email like this, you'll notice here that it's tried to find this email address, but it doesn't exist. So what happens now is we can 
add them as a lead or a contact. I'm just going to add them in as a lead. I'm just going to call them Ben and Hinkley. I'm just going to throw a random phone number in there. And what we're going to do is we're now going to set the valuation to Mr. Ben Hinkley and then we're going to click save. So what's that, what's that done now is that's actually created a lead inside of our system. And there it is right there. So we've just added me into the system, okay, um, as a lead in that section. And you'll see it pop up. What you're going to find here is that we are able to now attach this email to that specific person. So if we go to leads um, and then we specifically look that up, you will see now that that lead is in there. So now we can say, yes, that is the uh, lead that we want to attach this email to. Um, and then we're simply going to click add. Um, and then that will obviously do what we need it to do. I think that worked. I'll just, yep, email already added. Okay, there you go. So now if we go back to the CRM, um, but it looks like it has been added in. Um, so, and, and that's it there. And then that's the, um, that's the estimate that we had attached. And the interesting thing is, so click the view estimate. So in this example here, there's actually no attachment. So if we actually have a look at that email that I had, you will see here that that had an attachment in it. So see the PDF attachment? So we've attached this specific email to that attachment. Um, so the attachment is connected to that email that's come through. And now we've attached that email to that record. But the record itself inside of Zoho CRM does not have an attachment in it. So that's just something to be mindful of. But that is how you use the Outlook plugin. And the calendar is basically going to be the same thing where if you now load up the calendar, I mean, we don't have anything in here, but essentially if I was to go in here and create an event, it will show up inside of my Outlook calendar. It works the same way the calendar is live.